13 on your side late night starts now. We begin tonight with the latest on the efforts by Michigan Democratic lawmakers to repeal the right to work law. The state Senate passed the bill tonight. A similar bill was approved by the House last week. 13 on your side's Andrea Flores joins us now with a look at the bill and what it means for workers in our state. Andrea. Juliet, the repeal of the right to work law is one of the Democrats' top goals this year after taking control of the state legislature. The bill was approved along party lines in a 20 to 17 vote. Now during that vote today, hundreds of people filled the state capitol, cheering loudly when the vote when the bill passed. The right to work law was enacted in 2012 when Republicans controlled all three branches of the state government. It prohibits unions from requiring non-union employees to pay dues, even if they bargain for the employee. Democrats say the repeal restores worker rights, saying wages have suffered in the last decade. Business advocates and Republicans say the law made our state more competitive nationally. Michigan has been made better off because of the uh, because of their right to work policy and some other key policy changes that happened about 10 years ago. Uh, if you look at personal income growth in the nine years before right work right to work passed, it was less than 1% after taking inflation into account. And then uh, the, the nine or 10 years since it's grown about 22% after inflation. There are 27 states with right to work laws in place, including Indiana and Wisconsin. The Senate version now goes back to the state house for a vote. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has said she will sign the bill when it arrives at her desk. Juliet. Andrea, thank you.